Yeah, we told you that Consumed by Fire was coming in. And they- Yay! Yay! <laughs> by the way, guys, uh, you mind if we open up the phone lines if people want to call and ask you questions or whatever? Oh, I love or text. Right. You can also text us. Yes. If you're too shy. Same number. Katie, what's that phone number? 236 236- 0941. So as you know, because we say just about every time, matter of fact, it's like, okay, don't say it again. Don't say it again. They're from Wagner, Oklahoma. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, so um, it is, it's Wagner, right? That's right. right. Yes. Yes. We're getting that right. So did you grow up there? Is it like always been home? Is it something new? What's the story behind Wagner? I mean, many years. So so mama's family is from Wagner, but Jordan and I, we were, we were born in Waycross, Georgia. So that that was home My for us. My grandma, Granny Mabel's from Waycross. Get out of Are here! You I've had it me? forever. The the train tracks will wow. rumble. I can't. Yeah. Believe. Wow. A, yes. From one train track to another. <laughs> and look at this. Somehow yeah, we all wound up in Oklahoma. It's a small world. We're all out there. Waycross. Isn't that weird? Chill, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I have not heard of Waycross in forever. But anyway, I'm sure you haven't. <laughs> it's about as far off about as Wagner, Oklahoma. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Katie, sorry, we're just having a moment here. I don't about even Waycross. believe it. Oh, I don't amazing. even believe anyway, it. Anyway, <laughs> so we're gonna talk with them in a minute. If you have something to ask them, we're gonna play their new song coming up here. In a minute and then they have a very very special announcement you just came from north dakota uh, yeah. <laughs> just a real quick vibe on the weather there compared to here is it similar this time of year a lot of mosquitoes i couldn't even pay attention to the weather it was yeah. like it, y'all we're it, blessed we are so we are blessed. blessed our mosquitoes have nothing on theirs <laughs> their mosquitoes i'm serious and you know it's what? true if you've been down to louisiana their mosquitoes it's like their state bird and i'm up there and i'm like oh my goodness i ain't seen a mosquito like that since louisiana we were what? just talking about mosquitoes we were. this morning oh, really? it's going we'll to be that to time at, you know tulsa's only top 40 as far as worst mosquitoes. So we're yeah. not bad. We're not yeah. bad. Praise God for it. <laughs> All right, coming up. Yes, amen. Consumed by Fire, of course, Caleb, Jordan, and Josh here with us this morning and their new song. In just a minute, right now, it's Jeremy Camp. Good morning, 94.1 KXOJ. First things first, it's Consumed by Fire, 831. Oh, what do you know? That band is right here in the studio with us hey. right now. Hey. Guys, let's just talk about the song for a second or maybe a little longer. It's an amazing song. It really is. Do you want to tell us a little bit uh, yeah. about the story behind that song and the inspiration? Yeah, absolutely. Caleb? I, uh, <laughs> well, hey, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think with this song for us, it, it came in a season of, you know, our, our dad had a, a massive stroke, and for 15 months, we were actually at St. Francis. and um, Right here in Tulsa? Right here in Tulsa. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. And um, Daddy went home to be with the Lord uh, last year around this time, uh, the 19th of this month. Wow. Um, and we actually just put out a song called Man That Made Me that's all about Daddy, so oh go check it out. Oh my goodness. But in, in through that season, uh, it, was, it was a heart check. It was, God, are we going to get back out and do Consumed by Fire or are we done? There were many disappointments. Mm. There were many challenges. And between what we were going through as a family, trying to, to you know, be unified and, you know, be close with all the family, we're, we're going, God, I, I don't know, we're, we're a little burnt out. And this song came in that season, a song to surrender, of going, I want your will, I don't want mine. And um, yeah, it kept us up at night, and this song actually, it brought us back to want to do all this. And mm-hmm. just to see what God's done with this song now is remarkable, because we didn't even know. It's kind of a song about priorities, isn't it? Amen. Yeah. Absolutely. It sounds like you were obedient, and what a beautiful song. What a beautiful oh, message. It. And how um, inspiring your message is for me. Sorry. Sorry. Right. But when you're going through something in your family, you've got to take care of that first, mm-hmm. right? I mean, it's it's in it's in Scripture. Other things away. We take yeah. care Amen. of those things first. So thank you for this song. It's really neat to know thank that that's so the story behind it, and really to be able to know yeah. the story, that it's, it is family-related yeah. because everybody goes through things and to really be able to connect with that so thanks for sharing that music with us guys absolutely thank you okay so let's talk about what's going on why in the world this amazing band up here at kxoj with us this morning (laughs) so who wants to to share the good news i think with us i think you're gonna have to help but okay uh, we're we're very we're very excited they just got back from north dakota (laughs) (laughs) we're the mosquitoes let me play the suspense music here (laughs) okay all right. Okay. So, coming up, <laughs> mark your calendars. June 25th. Come on. Red Bud Festival Park, Owasso, Oklahoma, in a free family concert event. 
Sunday night, Bring in Church to the Festival on in Owasso, presented by our amazing friends at First Bank of Owasso. Consumed by fire! Yay! <laughs> All right, guys, it's going to be food trucks. We're going to start a broadcast at about 4 o'clock. The concert starts at 7. It is a beautiful venue. It, the sound is awesome. We've just been out there so many times and yeah. we love it and we're honored to have you guys on the stage. I think I'd be there if we weren't playing. You this. should I'm be. so excited. You oh should be. Like, wait. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, oh yeah, we're supposed to go <laughs> sing. Oh wait, oh, we get to sing too. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, don't forget that part. We're so excited. Yeah, the last I think that we had played there was Stephen Curtis Chapman. Yeah, wow. that's right. I know. Love it. Nice. We got all yeah. the sound perfectly. Yeah, don't, don't, no pressure at all. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> hey, you guys come and do what you do. That's hey. right. And uh, <laughs> not just entertain, but minister and yeah. help us all worship together. I know you will. Hang around. Do you have a couple more minutes? Oh, yeah. We'll see oh, what yeah. else is going on with you guys in just a minute. Consumed by Fire. If you have a question, please call them now while they're here, live in the studio, 918-236-0941. And as Katie said before, you can text too. Same number. And Consumed by Fire in the studio right now. We'll chat with him in a minute. But what do you have coming our way? Uh, a new EP uh, not too long ago. And we've even got a new piano version of First Things First on oh, there. Nice. So, so anybody that likes the a little more... Yeah, you know, stripped mellow. down mellow vibes. Uh -huh. It's there for you. <laughs> no, just so many new songs and uh, probably a full length coming later on. But we we just released a bonus song actually that Caleb mentioned the last break that we wrote for our dad. Oh, yeah. um, it's called "Man That Made Me." Dad went home to be with the Lord May nineteenth of last year, and wow. um, yeah, he was a pastor for more than thirty five years, planted churches all over the world. 11 churches in the U.S. And I think there's, we were counting the other day or something, it was like eight of them are still going under different names and different leadership yeah. and things. But he was, that's just who he was. He was a church planner. And well, we'll definitely look forward yeah. to that song. So again, it's called <laughs> The Man That Made Me. Yes. By Consumed yeah. by Fire. We're going to be watching for that one. And of course, we're going to be for a free concert coming up yeah. Sunday night, June 25th. Redbud Festival Park, our great friends at First Bank of Owasso presenting it. And special thanks to our friends at the city of Owasso and Maori Funeral Service. All right, so I just have a kind of a personal question, I guess. My boys all love to sing. Yeah. How did you guys say, you know what? What if we didn't just sing and we're always making music in the house? What if we did something with this? Yeah. Were you Man. little bitty boys How when that, that started? Happen? Caleb was like not even 13 when we came to our parents and said, hey, what if you homeschooled us both and you let us tour the country? <laughs> and uh, wow, they were like, wow. uh, they looked at each other probably with the look of fear that most parents would have. <laughs> and uh, they prayed about it and they go, you know what? I think this might actually be something that the Lord's put on your heart. And they were, supported us. Were you already yeah. singing in church? We were. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Wow. There's nothing like family harmony. I know. <laughs> There's that not is, that man. many of them right now. So, guys. Keep it up. Thanks. We love Keep your harmony. Keep it going. <laughs> and we're it. so excited we get to see you in person for free. Find out more yep. at KXOJ.com. If you want to see what the guys look like, <laughs> I just put a brand new picture of them up on our Facebook page. Look for KXOJ Tulsa. One more round of applause for Caleb, Jordan, Thank and Josh. You guys. Oh, thank you, guys. Appreciate your time today.